Hey guys, happy Friday. <laughs> I've got a new microphone on today. So I'm hoping that those of you that haven't been able to hear me or you've only heard me out of one earbud that it will be resolved. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right off the bat, I'm not feeling very good today because I had my shingles vaccine. I had a bright and early, like my yearly physical doctor appointment on Tuesday morning at eight o'clock. I had thought that it was just my blood work, just taking blood, but it wasn't. It was my full doctor appointment. And then he asked me if I had fasted, but I naturally fast. I was able to give my blood. And so I am gonna do an update on that. Like for those of you that are on carnivore, I'm actually gonna do a whole video on my New Year's health goals and things like that. So today is Thursday. But I have some things that I want to share with you coming tomorrow. I think I have an Ulta order, maybe a Sephora order coming tomorrow, but I thought we would just go ahead and do it in two parts like we always do. First of all, I don't know if you've seen this at Ulta, but it's a new Redken hairline and it's the Acidic Color Gloss Sulfate Free Shampoo. And then I got the conditioner. They don't have a mask. So I got the conditioner and then I got the acidic color gloss heat protection treatment, all of them. It says shine protection and color care protection, um, colored and glossed hair. So I thought this would be something perfect for me because if you're a blonde and especially if you're a blonde that's coloring gray, it's not always easy to keep your color in and for it to look shiny dark hair looks much shinier. So I have used this now for probably, I know in the last video, which I need to talk about that, the last video I had used it, I've used it now, I think three to four times and so far, so good. I'm not crazy about this kind of, you know, nozzle, but you know, that's the way it is. The conditioner, I was pleasantly surprised that it is very thick. It's like a balm or mask. So far, so good. And then, oh, you guys, okay, back to, back to my arm. When they gave me, okay, back up. When I went in there, I realized it was a regular doctor appointment. So I'm waiting for him in there and she, the nurse is with me asking, is this the same, is that the same, all that stuff. And she asked me, did I wanna get the flu shot? And I'm, I have no like, feelings about that you know it's just whether I want to get it or not and I said no then she when he came in the shingles vaccine and I said shingles vaccine and he said yeah now you get it if you're 50 or older well I have heard horror stories about getting shingles like in your eye all that stuff so I said yeah I would get it he said well you could have some symptoms the next day you're going to feel a little like maybe body aches, your stomach could get upset, all that stuff. And I was like, okay. She comes in and gives me the shot. And she said, now he told you you're gonna feel pretty cruddy the next day. And I'm thinking, okay. And I had my blood taken and I left. As the day went on, it felt kind of like the tetanus shot. But yesterday I hurt, like it hurt to walk, just walking hurt, my butt hurt. Let's just say I had the body aches. I was hoping that last night was gonna go much better. I was gonna have a good night's sleep because I had gotten it up at four o'clock yesterday. But last night I slept terribly. I sleep with the aura ring, so it tells you. All night, I just, oh my gosh, you know, like the whole thing. And then I woke up this morning and I'm swollen. Like my face feels swollen, I'm at, my whole body feels swollen. Okay, is that enough? Wah, wah. like my eyes definitely feel swollen. I didn't even wear eye makeup yesterday. I don't wanna scare anyone from not getting the vaccine because this is nothing compared to having shingles. And see, I really, I had a good old case of chicken pox when I was in first grade. I remember it like it was yesterday. And so that is why I really wanted to get it. The good news is I get to have another one. I think you have to go get another one from one to four or six months. So I just picked two months. Yes. This is the Redken Hair Cleansing Cream. Uh, the removal of product buildup 
excess oil, pollution particles, and one use. This is what I used when the toner a couple of times ago was just like really, really cool toned. And I used this before I went to go see her again. And it is so good. It is such a gentle, clarifying shampoo. My hair felt so good after I used this. And she said it's actually really good to use before you come in and get your color, to, especially if you're someone that uses dry shampoo and a lot of products. But here's the main reason I wanted to tell you is it's also good for hard water minerals. And if you've been with me, you remember how I, I just was astounded at how different my hair was when we rented a house that didn't have a water softener and had hard water, which that's gonna be for most people, like my daughter Brooke who rents, you're gonna probably have hard water. So this I think is just a wonderful, wonderful clarifying shampoo and it did not make my hair feel like I had used Dawn soap or something. This is, I've shown this to you before, the spray wax. Like if you're wanting just PC normal hair, which to the average person, you're thinking no big deal. I just let it dry naturally. Well, when you have frizzy hair and curly hair, like mine that dries all in, like some pieces are frizzy, some pieces are curly, some pieces are straight, then this is good because I've gotten where, like if I'm spraying curls and I want them to curl up and separate, I can spray the hair. But like when I just want to kind of put my ends together like this and maybe, you know, not, not make them look like this, I can spray this in my hand and kind of, you know, put it in there. So those of you that it's gonna be, if you know, you know, kind of thing not sponsored. I'll probably remind you of this just tomorrow when I get my other stuff, but I did a collaboration with Ulta on the Love Your Skin event going on from December 31st to January 20th. You guys, that is one heck of a sale. Like so many good things are half off, but you have to check on it every day. Like every day you can see what's on sale but like the Osea body oil, for instance, half off. Um, one day the new face kit, I mean, the vacation, like the candles I showed you and all of their cool sunscreens, they're I think 30% off the whole time. If you go into Ulta, make sure you check what is half off and go on their website and go through the weeks and see if you see anything that you use and can stock up on or anything like that. Okay, now let's get on to some makeup. Yesterday I felt crummy and I was going out and doing a few things I had to do and I was actually meeting our whole family was going to lunch at Five Guys <laughs> Burgers and I didn't want to put on makeup. It was one of those days it was like I did not want to put on makeup. And I remembered seeing this in my drawer. It's the Bare Minerals and the color that I have is light beige. And I was just shook by how much coverage I got just from this powder. And I told Brooke, I said it was like using an eraser. Today, I used a new foundation. It's not new, it's just new to me. It's the Too Faced matte born this way it's the color warm nude this is the color that my daughter uses and it's i actually wore that in my pamela video i just posted which i'll get to that and i love it i love it it's i can say it's slightly yellow and light for me when i first put it on but then when i go in with the other things it you know warms up and then today I used a little bit of this just like you would use a finishing powder and I think it is so pretty. It's got that glow. Now I will say my face looked a little shiny and oily by the end of the day because I'm not used to using mineral powder anymore but it took a long time. It took a couple of hours to look that way but the reason I show you is so many of you loved the Laura Mercier 
mineral foundation like I did. And I would say this is the best, not only coverage, but color for us. It's, I think, the closest to classic beige that I have seen. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, I was putting things up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you my, it's not an eventful outfit, but so many of you asked me about this little jacket. Remember, I got it in the mango haul and I wore it on Instagram and a lot of people asked me about it and I love it. It is so, it is the ultimate little faux fur jacket. It feels like Bubba's tummy, my cat, and I love it. It's a size medium. And like today, I have on just my cutoff t-shirt. Ooh. And um, it's just gonna be a low profile day. So I just have on my Aviator Nation um, sweatpants, which I love. Like I love wearing these no matter what. And then this is the um, Anina Bing t-shirt. And I don't know if you can see my arm right there. Can you see it? I'm surprised that it's that big. Yesterday, I wore this. I don't know if you even remember me getting this, but it's the Teddy Coat from Aloe or Alo. I think it's Aloe, A-L-O. And oh, yesterday, it is like wearing, okay, it's not the best looking, but after getting the Teddy Coats from Walmart, Gap, where else did I get one from? Walmart, Gap, I can't remember, but this is just night and day, so soft, feels like you're wearing, hold on, oh, feels like you're wearing a robe. And it looks like you're wearing a robe too. It's still got that cool factor. You don't have to get pink. I think this was like a limited edition color. Okay, so let's get to fun stuff here. Okay, let's talk about my Pamela Anderson no makeup, what do we think video. You guys, thank you. Thank you for just being you and understanding what I was talking about. And you had the most insightful comments. If you have not watched that video, you don't even have to watch the whole video. Read the comments. They're so good. You made me think about so many more things than I even did, which is funny because I'm telling you, it's one of those things that was like, I, I have so many, you know, ideas about it. And I hope that, I'm, and I, you did, you got it. It wasn't out of disrespect because I respect her a lot and I think she's beautiful with no makeup on. So thank you, thank you for that. Okay, this just came the other day from Fendi. And they had this little card for the holidays. It was a little bit late. I heard that the postage was a little late. It says, best wishes for the holiday season and a sweet new year. Fendi chocolates. <laughs> So I will not be eating these, but I just wanted to show them to you. I thought that was pretty cool. Now, let's see, I got some new skincare from Friesco Beauty. If you guys are skincare fanatics, which I know I have a lot of skincare lovers out there, you have to go to her website and look at all of the products that she offers because she is just into it and she is like learning all the latest things all the latest doctors and so she wanted to see if i wanted to try this it is the gentle amino power wash from this new brand i'm not sure i'm going to pronounce it right is it pavise and gentle non-stripping mild exfoliant cushiony foam for all skin types okay i she knows and i usually use obaji but i can use other cleansers especially in the shower I'll, I'll use another cleanser so i'm excited to try this i just got it yesterday and then the uh, sunscreen is spf 30 pa plus 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 and she said that it's a, supposed to be a really good sunscreen. It's a treatment, a moisturizer, and a sunscreen. It's 100% true mineral sunscreen with diamond core shield technology, photo agent defense cocktail, niacinamide, all of these things. But she said it is supposed to be a great primer under makeup. There's that. And oh gosh, I almost forgot the best thing. This is a lip defense SPF. 
And she said she thought of me immediately because of the nude color. And so it's like a SPF lip defense oil, tinted hydrating oil. And I never go out in the sun. Look at that goodness. I never go out in the sun without lip sunscreen on because if you have ever burnt your lips, it is, it's, mine swell up this big beyond any, like no filler would even swell them up that big. And then when they go down, they peel. I feel like I'm gonna be a Debbie Downer today, sorry. But this is a lip gloss that I got. I picked it up when I was in Ulta and it's Morphe, it's called Cosmic Coral. And you know what? Maybe I should hold out on my judgment of this. I wore it yesterday and I thought, eh. But you know what? I was in an eh mood anyway and I didn't have on lip liner or lipstick. I just used this and I thought, because when I first saw it, I thought, is this gonna be like San Diego? I think it's a little pinker, but let me wear this over a lipstick. Matter of fact, let's get on to lipstick and maybe we'll try that out. Okay, many of you told me about Mario coming out with new lip colors and especially this one. And the name of it is Midtown. And that is what I have on today. And oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. Now I used it with, first I put on my lip liner collaboration, Paradise. And I had to sharpen it, so it was a little too lip linery. I tried to wipe it off, but that lip liner really stays on. And so I went over it with um, L'Oreal Mastermind, and then I used this lipstick. Okay, first of all, look how beautiful it is. And then I'm gonna swatch it. I mean, it's gorgeous. Okay, This is the eye palette I have on today. Sorry, it's gotten broken a little bit. It's the Mario Ethereal Eyes. Okay, I see, yes, my lip liner is a little dark. So I was thinking this one might really be the perfect color for it. The Buxom Hush Hush Honey or Hush Henna. I think this is gonna be more of a better tone. So let's redo this. Okay, so this is the color Midtown. Trying to go over the liner. You see how pretty that is? Now this is only for nude lovers, but so good. The formula, it's got a magnetic cap and the formula feels amazing. No crazy, the only scent, it's a little bit sweet, but not, maybe like a light vanilla, nothing I would have ever even noticed. So when I ordered that one, I decided to go ahead and order all the other ones I thought we might like. So I got um, Soho, which is gonna be too orange for me. Then there is uh, South Shore, this one I think is gonna to be too brown. That has real possibilities. Okay, that is South Shore. That is, okay, MAC Viva Glam 2, if you like that, I think you would like this. Wow, that's beautiful. The formula, see how smooth and perfect the color is? Let's see, Flatiron, like the Flatiron District. Okay, hmm, I'm gonna hold out my judgment until I, wow. Okay, these are prettier than they look in the tube. It's peachier. The other one is more of a cool tone, like a nude. And that one is a little peachier. Gosh, okay, so the good ones are um, South Shore, Midtown and flat iron. And then this one that's too corally is Soho. Okay, and then something else, if you watched my closet clean out video, you saw this. This is something I would have never known about because I don't watch TikTok, but it's a lip liner 
stain that evidently this girl has made really popular and Brooke ordered the mauve one and I really like that one. Then I ordered the pink one. It was a little too pinky for me. And then this one came in light brown. But the concept is it's like a lip stain. Let's see what it does. So you put it on your lips, but you have to be careful. <sighs> and you have to put like an even amount like that and then you let it dry for 20 minutes. I wanted to do it and try it so I could tell you about this color, but I was scared to do it for today. So let's see if we can let this dry and I'll show you what to do with it. Oh, I know what we were gonna do. We were gonna give this a chance. So while I'm letting this dry, I'm going to see what this lip gloss looks like over this. Yeah, I would say it's worth it. Sunglasses, okay, I've got these in my head. I, ever since I found these in my closet, I have been loving them. And so I wanted to show you two more pair that I got. I got these and I'll put the names of them below. But these have more of a clear lens. I love them. This whole line, Vela, and they're still running that special, buy one, get one free. So they're regularly $200, but you can get two pair for $200. Okay, this one, it's like, I wonder why it doesn't have a case. It just came with the soft case, but it's because it's like this. These are old school, 90s, I think a Paris Hilton good old wrap style sunglasses. But these are like perfect for the pool or, you know, I always think of the water park because that's where we used to go all the time. We would get the season pass to the water park because it was just easy with two kids, especially when, when they're small, but love those. So I will put them down. Okay, this is the Billy Dixie. I like Dixie. I think I might wear her today. I love these so much. This is the Kaya. These have a much thicker frame. Okay, and then I showed you these in that Pammy video, but look at these cool earrings from Amazon. See how they're the CZs, but they go and like wrap in your ear. Today, I just don't want any rings or earrings or anything on. I'm just kind of like feel like that. I'm not gonna wear them today, but I wanted to show them to you. Just so cool. So they go in the, your piercing, but then they wrap up in your ear and down. I have them on in that Pammy video. Okay, I think it's, yeah, I think it's dry. So then what you do is you have to peel it off your lips like this. That is what you're left with. I am glad that I did not use that because I think that's gonna to be too brown for me. Cause it's hard to do like a really light line. If you have dark skin tone, this may be like the perfect nude for you, but I think that's gonna to be too dark, dark for me. So I'm anxious to get the, there's a nude one and then I'm still liking Brooks Mauve one the best, but, and, it lasts all day long. I mean, you will have to use remover to get it off. Hey guys, it's Lisa and today is Friday. I have had a little bit of an issue with this shingles shot, <laughs> shingles vaccine. I don't know if you noticed it yesterday, but I think it was, was it this side of my lip? Started swelling more and more as the video went on. And so I noticed it when I went to go eat lunch and then it just progressively got worse as the day went on. So last night I took Benadryl and Advil. It didn't get any better. This morning when I woke up, I don't know if you can see that it's, um, it's mostly swollen right, right in here, but my throat's not swollen and my top lip's not swollen. So I don't know what's going on. I mean, it has to be a reaction to the shingles vaccine. My arm is still achy and I still have the, the big, I have the big dot 
where I got the shot, and then I have a smaller one underneath it, which I don't know what that is. And I was not going to call the doctor because I know that this, you know, all of this is from that shingles vaccine, but I was worried about it being Friday and if something were to happen over the weekend. So I don't know. I've already called and she's going to call me back. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but I haven't been able to sleep. I got up at three and I got out of bed at four. And I'll be honest with you, I felt better this morning. And when I was putting my makeup on than I do now, I feel like I'm getting achier and stuff now. Maybe it's just wearing off. That and the fact that my Ulta order is not coming in till tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. Sorry, it's kind of been like a Debbie Downer video for sure. But, you know, it's real life. It is what it is. Typically, if I don't feel good, I could just go on with it. But I felt like with my lips sticking out like this, I wasn't going to try to play it off. I used this palette today, and I wanted to show you because it's a good one. If any of you out there love the smoky, cool tones, this is a really good palette. I also wanted to tell you, don't forget about that Ulta because today is the day, I was scared I missed it, but it's today that the Creme Decor lotion is half off. I'm gonna wear these today, and I'm gonna go do what I have to do, and then get back, finish editing this video, and then try to take a break for the rest of the day. I probably won't see you this weekend, but I'll see you on Monday, hopefully. So I thought I would just ask you if any of you experienced swelling, anywhere. It's mostly my face, like especially yesterday, I could feel it more in my sinuses. Today, my sinuses aren't sore. It kind of went down into my one lip. <laughs> it hurts. I, I was going to say I'll put my order down below, but I think I'll be able to show it to you. I will before the 20th, but the main thing is I had ordered some vacation stuff, like not for a vacation, literally the brand vacation, because the whole time it's on sale for 30% off. I ordered the golf ball candle. Brooke, my daughter was really curious about that one. It's supposed to smell like fresh golf balls and cucumber sandwiches. And then I ordered the candle that smells like the regular fragrance. I ordered the lip sunscreen. How ironic is it that I was talking about a swollen lip yesterday and then my lip is swelling up the whole time. And what else? I, I ordered some new Kylie lip liners and I reordered that Estee Lauder concealer. I guess I'll go ahead and show you my outfit of the day. I've got on just this, it's really cold. I've got on my mango jacket that you guys have seen. It's the Faux Fur Bomber. Got on the little Zara tank top thing and then some little Zara pants and then my Go to Uggs. Um, yeah, like I said, I was wearing, I'm gonna wear the sunglasses that I got yesterday. And don't forget, those are on sale too. Buy one, get one, not even half. Buy one, get one free. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you guys later. Bye bye.